What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture, and today I have a really quick tip for you. I want you all to know and understand how to use ghost notes. I get a lot of people asking me. Actually, there's people that don't even know it exists in reason yet. So I'm going to just grab a MIDI file, drag it on the IDA regular piano. I'm going to turn up the filter a little bit on the mod wheel, or a lot of bit, and I'm going to show you how to use ghost notes with this melody I have with uh, the 808 or whatever you choose but in this case my example will be the 808 so what you want to do is make sure that you're inside of a clip okay like this like so and you want to make sure that you have this button here highlighted it says multi lanes you want to make sure it's white when it's white it's on if it's not on you won't see the arrows over here either and the tracks so you want to hold down command on a Mac and control on a Windows and click on the other track that you want to be, you want to use the, the lane for, for multi-lanes, which is what it's called in Reason, multi-lane edit, whereas it's like ghost notes in things like FL Studio and whatnot. So now I can see these notes and when I draw my clip and start to click in my 808 pattern I will be able to see these notes as I do it so let us start actually down here and figure out 808 pattern based off of the notes here I know a lot of you are tired of trap or me doing trap for whatever reason so I will be doing more boom bap lo-fi stuff after today all right so uh that does conclude the tutorial on how to do ghost notes you simply want to make sure that you have these selected i will however do one more uh melody just in case you did not understand i will stick with the the um, id8 for the purposes of simplicity I don't want to take too much of your time. Let's go with the guitar. Perfect. Turn it down. All right. So once again, this is my guitar right here. ID81. Go ahead and name it. I have this selected. I'm going to hold down Command on a Mac and Control on a Windows and then click on the other one. You can also, uh, you can easily just switch back and forth between which clip you want to edit by clicking on the arrows. So if I want to edit this, I can, uh, this guitar, I'll be on this clip. It's highlighted, it's yellow here. Now this one is blue. So whichever one you're editing will be highlighted by this arrow, the same color as the track. Like so. All right. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.